Hey guys, it's Miranda here at Sunshine and Grace. And today I want to do a flip through of my second design team project for Lavender Blue. A um, envelope journal is what I'm calling it. It's kind of like a folio, kind of like a journal. It's kind of cute and oh so fun. And I had an absolute blast making it. I think some of y'all saw the uh, little bit I put out the other day showing how I, that the butterfly on the cover because I crushed on that for like days straight. I'm not going to lie that I don't still pick it up and look at it and think, yep, I love this cover. I love the, everything about it. So I'm going to just go through a flip through and then yes, there will be a tutorial probably. I'm not going to say when, but it'll be sometime in June. I don't know when in June though. So there is a tutorial coming up. Okay, so what we have is we open it up and we have a pocket. I have not put the title plate on here yet because I haven't decided what I'm gonna call it. But this will go up for sale soon and I'll have a title on it hopefully then. Or I may sell it like it is. Okay, I put, this is all made from the Lavender Blue Parisian Dreams kit using the envelopes that came with the kit. Um, they were the three and a half by five and a half envelopes, I believe. And I just printed a bunch of those out and made them and used them to make the cover. This is one of the journaling cards in the kit that I just put a little piece of, actually a scrap literally laying on my desk. And this is in a traveler's notebook style. So you can change out the journal part if you want or move it to the back section if you want to. It just slips in and out of there. Okay, we have one, I just alternated coffee dyed paper with pages from the kit. All of the embellishments, except for like the washi, but like this ribbon, it was a, just a strip that I had left over from the kit that I folded into a ribbon and decided to line that page. And then I put some washi on there to help hold it. I backed all of the pages with some of the other pages from the kit. Here is a tag book that I made that flips out both directions from the kit. The tags were actually in the kit in that order, like all stuck together. I mean, I think they could have been cut apart, but I liked them stuck together and I just um, made the little tag book. This is a envelope, a coin envelope from the kit, embellished slightly. This was stuck in the other side. And inside, I took, that was from the kit as well. I made a little journaling card with a piece from the kit that I made a tab out of and put a number on it. And that's obviously a page from the kit. This is just a little paper clip with some ribbon that was laying on my desk. This was one of the journaling spots from the kit. A tab that I made, I think this tab actually came from the kit. I did make some tabs too though. And I put the word believe on there that I alcohol dyed and glossy, I actually glossy accented it, then alcohol dyed it to match the kit. And y'all, I'm not kidding, alcohol dyes on glossy accents, that's something I'm absolutely crushing on. This was one of the pieces of ephemera from the kit that I just tore out, inked, gilded, and stuck on there as a little tuck spot with one of the tags from the kit that I embellished with the Choose Joy. This came from the kit, and this is just one of my favorite Bible verses. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? 1 Corinthians 3.16. Everybody puts 3.16 on stuff. That's my 3.16. I love that one. So I stuck that in there. And it just tucks in. And I left some writing space in here. Um, I used one of the butterflies from the kit. Embellished it with some stickles and uh, glossy accents again. And I used it, left it hanging over just a little bit to make a tab. I thought that was kind of cute. This was a sticker that I used a butterfly that I punched out of the, just some scraps laying on my desk. And again, I uh, covered it in, I don't even know what all I put on top of it. But it came out beautiful. And then I stuck it on that sticker, which is also a tuck spot. You've got a little bit of a tuck spot there, see? You could tuck something in. I did not tuck something in, but you could take something like this and just pop it in there. I'm not putting that in there though. That's for something else. Um, and it says grateful, thankful, blessed, and just has a little bit of lace. That 
did not come from the kit. I actually added that because it just matched everything in the kit so well. And I needed something for that page at the end. That's a blank writing page. Okay. This was just a scrap from the kit that I happened to like the clock and the flowers around it. So I inked it, made a cluster, put the joy on it, um, dyed some lace to match and put that on there. Here's one of the scraps that I just took a scrap, folded it in half, punched it to make a tab and used some, um, like a fancy corner punch, put some washi on there. And you can see that makes an absolutely gorgeous top tab. We are at the back of the journal. I forgot to count how many pages it was. I'll go back and do that at the end. There's just one of the postcard journaling cards in there. I have trouble pulling that out. I will probably add a tab to it before I sell it or before it leaves. Um, I did add some washi on some of these, like this one. I don't remember. Oh, because I put a flip out here, which was a library style pocket from the kit. I made a paper flower from the kit, tore out a piece of ephemera, put these journaling card bits in there. This is actually an open up note card. This was a, like a large label that I folded. And then there's another postcard that I put a cluster on and just slide that down in there. It went in so easy the first time and now it's not. Okay, there it goes. Have that in the wrong spot it goes out front okay there then you open it up and there's just some blank space here is a, another paper flower with a butterfly made from the kit i just punched out my favorite butterfly punch and glued it and stick you've seen me do this the fancy butterflies i have a tutorial for these if i think of it i'll link it in the uh, i'll put one of those slidey card thingies across I also have a tutorial for the uh, flowers. I think there's a couple of them. They're just shabby flowers, like folded flowers. Um, but that butterfly turned out so pretty, you guys. Okay, and then you have two more. This is the other two envelopes. It takes four of them all together here to put stuff in. There's a cluster. I have not put anything in there because I have some special stuff that I wanted to put in, but I didn't want it to be seen. And there's the back cover. And you guys, that is it. I had a blast making this one. Again, this is made from the Parisian Dreams kit by Lavender Blue. I will link it in the description box below. And you can see it is an absolutely gorgeous kit. So, so shabby chic and just turned out so pretty. I made two um, projects with it and absolutely loved working with it. So um, I'm really excited to be part of her design team and absolutely love the kits so yeah all right so here at sunshine and grace i love making videos showing you guys how to make beautiful journals and ephemera using inexpensive items whether you're a beginner or you've been making journals for a good bit now i hope you'll join me as i share tips tricks and hacks along the way and usually a little bit of jesus too my creations are my way of working out what god works into me through his word i couldn't do any of this without him or without you guys I love y'all and thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. It means so much to me. If you found this video valuable, be sure to hit that like button and drop a comment below to let me know what you think or how the project turned out for you. This isn't a tutorial, so, but if you want to hang around, I'm not kidding, here and as soon as I can get time, I'm going to film the tutorial. It'll be a standalone video. It won't be one of my 3579s or my mass makes. It'll be its own thing. So um, be on the watch for it. It'll be probably probably a week or two, but it'll be in the month of June because this was the, uh, I just, I want to make another one. It's what it is. And I need a good excuse because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can't just keep making random journals over and over. I might have like a bunch of the snippet journals now because I fell in love with that. Well, this is my new love. I love it. It's so fun. Anyways, before I go, I just want to remind y'all, Jesus loves you so much he died for you. If you've not trusted that fact, then I would urge you to do so today because none of us is promised the next second. I mean, it can end like that, y'all. And when it's done, it's done. You're going to go somewhere. You're either going to go to heaven or you're going to go to hell. I do not want to see anyone go to hell, okay? No one. No one deserves what that is. So, um, yeah, I really want to see y'all in heaven. 
So if you've not trusted the gospel of your salvation, then I would absolutely love to tell you about my precious Savior, tell you the greatest love story ever, and get you settled for eternity right now. If you've got any questions about anything at all, projects that I make, um, you know, a question about something I've said, something I've done, you want to hear about Jesus, your eternal state, you need prayer, you just want to talk. I have some of the best com or, you know, conversations that start in the comment section and then they may carry over into social media. And I mean, I love it. It's so fun, you guys. But anyways, y'all get a hold of me. You can look me up on social media. You can drop comments below. Um, all the links are in the uh, channel art and also in the description box. It'd just be my joy to answer your questions or to just talk to you. So y'all have a great day and we'll chat soon. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.